this video by doing this video I may lose some subscribers and I may get some heat for this but this is about how SGWs and anti-SGWs are two sides of the same coin here we go hi I'm John host of video games in the world and today I want to talk to you about how anti-SGWs and SGWs are two sides of the same coin now, for the record, I've said this many times that I believe in gender equality. I'm a humanist. But SGWs, they tarnish what social justice and feminism are all about. Because their idea of social justice and uh, feminism is, if you don't agree with my ideology, you're, you're a horrible, horrible person. And SGWs tend to slander people, for disagreeing with them and try to contact their jobs and, and get them fired, which is something very, very bad. Not to mention also that that had um remember that, that incident with August Staines? It it proves how cancel culture does a lot more harm than good. How the SJW mentality and ideology has done a lot have done, has done so much harm than good. Like, if you never heard about the August Thames incident, then then I'll tell you. August Thames was an adult film actress, and uh, she refused to do a sex scene with a guy who who did it, gay, gay adult films, and and he he is he is gay. However, when she refused to do that scene, there was a massive lynch mob on Twitter all of a sudden, and she protested saying that she cares about her community because she was bisexual. Unfortunately, that did very little to deter what happened, and eventually that lynch mob made her take her own life. And that was messed up what they did. Very, very messed up. It proves how the SGW mentality has done a lot more harm. It does a lot of harm. It doesn't... They might say they are for equality and all that stuff, but the way they do it is not equality. It's more about superiority and uh, they act like, like, the, like the very Spanish Inquisition of the old days, of, of medieval times, you know. So yeah, I am very critical of political correctness and SJW mentality and also before the August Thames incident remember that incident with, when uh, Zoe Quinn had uh, Tim Soray almost fired and his game the last night would never be seen would not, not see the light of day because of, of his opinions here's the thing SJW say agree with me or else I will, will have you fired so yeah, their ideology is based on slander and and doxing and attacking people for not having for having a different opinion. And in my opinion, everyone can ha have a different opinion. Not everyone is going to agree with ideologies, no matter how good or bad they sound. But let me tell you something: the SGW ideology and mentality is the mother load of bad ideas. They fight a lot of issues using identity politics, which perpetuate more of such issues. But I'm also critical about the anti-SJWs. But before we get into the anti-SJWs, the SJW mentality is also about alienating certain demographics regarding movies like uh, it wasn't made for them. An example is this. I'll play it right now. didn't work for him about a wrinkle in time. It wasn't made for him. You see? The, what Brie Larson said, that is SJW mentality right there. When you alienate certain demographics who, who want to go, go see your movie, he, that's not being inclusive. That's being exclusive. Now, for the record, a year ago, I went to see the movie Captain Marvel, and I thought it was pretty cool. Cool. However, her what what really bothered me is the is 
the reaction on both sides of SJWs and anti-SJWs, SJWs be like, if you didn't see Captain Marvel, you're a misogynist who, who doesn't like women. While anti-SJW said that if, if you like the movie Captain Marvel, you're automatically an SJW. That is, and that's exactly a type of mentality that mirrors the SJW mentality. Because I hate that kind of tribal way of thinking. I can say the same thing for stuff like um, The Last of Us Apex Legends, for example. I remember that they said that Apex Legends is SJW propaganda because there are, but there are LGBT characters and one gu guy's son was playing as mostly the female characters and he feels that his son will become trans. I mean, like, dude! Gamers, male or female, can play either her uh, characters of their gender or the opposite gender. Leave them be. That's all. Hell, I enjoy playing as male characters in, in various video games, even female characters, you know? Jesus Christ. And also, this year regarding The Last of Us Part Two, the, the video game was review bombed mostly by anti-SJWs that acted all erratic because there was an LGBT character. Now, you know, a lot of people are bothered by LGBT characters because they think it's some kind of a hidden agenda or something like that, you know? Regarding Overwatch as well, they thought that Tracer being gay and many other characters being gay or bi or trans, they thought it was like some hidden agenda or something. That's, that's many extreme anti-SJWs, but on the side of SJWs, like, uh, when it came to Overwatch with Tracer being gay, McIntosh saying, Ooh, this is for the male gays! Seriously. Th these types of mentalities, I really cannot stand. But back to the to me criticizing the anti-SJWs. Now, I remember that, um... A comedian said that he was a feminist, and many people call, said call him an SJW. The same thing they went after David Cross when, when he was making fun of the anti PC crowd, and called him an SJW. That's not being anti SJW calling them out on that. That's SJW, right there. Now, also when it comes to the video game The Last of Us Part Two, they said that anti SJWs be like. If you like that game, you're an SJW. Ooh. And also, SJW saying, if you like if you don't like The Last of Us Part 2, you're homophobic and misogynistic and transphobic. And these are and that bears repeating what I said earlier. That is a type the type of mentality I really cannot stand. Hmm? Now, remember also the movie Birds of Prey? I still haven't seen it. Hit, cause I, I have a lot of issues to deal with, like adulthood issues, you know. So here's the thing: when it comes to the movie Birds of Prey, some people liked it, others didn't. Normal people will be like, "I, I didn't like the movie because of this and that, had because the story didn't go well. I didn't like the character development that much, you know." Well, some people, "Oh, I liked it. It, it, it was okay. Yeah." Huh. That's how normal people will normally react to a movie, but but look, anti SGW said about the movie uh, Birds of Prey that they hated it, and said told people that if you like the movie, you're an automatically an SJW. That's a mentality that I hate. Anita Sarkeesian, she said, Birds of Prey was such a great movie. You just hate women, and that's another type of mentality that I absolutely cannot stand. It's messed up. Really messed up. So you see, that is the type of mentality that I cannot stand at all. On both sides, of course. Now, why am I so critical about critical of SJWs and political correctness? Because SJWs, like, they want to make game developers and movie producers change the look of, uh, of characters hers because 
for the sake of their audiences and, and the people that buy these games and movie and go to see these movies. Please. But it's not for the audience that SJWs want those things change. It's because skim female characters in video games in skimpy clothing and showing some skin hurts their little fifis. For now, I remember this thing from Bad in the Sun that a group of SJWs went after the battle between Black Widow and Black Canary because of the, of the way they were, of the clothes that they had, had. But thankfully, Bad in the Sun didn't bend any, and I'm glad for that. Uh, SJWs have done a lot more harm than good because they think themselves that they're so special that they're the ones that are going to make the world a better place. But the, the way they fight, fight racism and sexism and homophobia, uh, they perpetuate it by fighting against those things with identity politics, using identity politics, and pointing out racism, sexism, and homophobia where there is none. But anti-SJWs are no better either. They point out a lot of SJWism where there is none. So that is why I say that anti-SJWs and SJWs are two sides of the same coin. Now, if I listen... Now, here's the thing, look. I love listening to both Christian music and secular music. But what bothers me is that a bunch of Christians give me a lot of... Uh, bother me because I like secular music. What also bothers me about Christians is that me supporting the LGBT community makes me a, a bad Christian. No! It's called loving thy neighbor, loving one another, and serve one another. And just because I support or gender equality, some Christians would, will attack me for that. Ah. And these types of Christians are the type of people that want to make a ha to turn this country into a handmade sale version of, Islam, uh, uh, of it. Into a handmade sale version of this country. Handmade sale? I freaking love that show. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you watch it. It has a pretty good message. Okay, so this will give me a lot of heat, and uh, I may lose subscribers in the process. But that this is why I'm I say of why I'm critical of both SJWs and anti SJWs because they're two sides of the same coin with their extremism. I'm John, host of Video Games in the World. Peace out.